Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash free. Access can also create lookup fields within a table that look up the values in another table, query, or hand-typed list from which it will draw its own values. If the field is looking up data from another table versus a query or a list, in the 2097 versions, it will automatically create an additional join between the two tables which you might see in the relationships window. Often it will also show an additional copy of the table from which it is looking up its values in the relationships window as well. Don't panic if you see these appearing in the relationships window. These types of joins are simply needed for the purpose of the lookup field and, strictly speaking, these joins are not part of the relational structure of your database. And so you would see those in 2097. However, if you've already created table joins in the XP or 2003 versions, you should delete the joins before attempting to create a lookup field that looks up values from another table. Since in the XP and 2003 versions they have eliminated the additional uh, confusing table copies that would appear when you created lookups, um, they actually just create the join between the tables during the lookup process. And if you try to do it, and there already is a join between the tables created through the relationships window, Access will remind you to go into the relationships window and delete the join before proceeding with the lookup. Once the lookup is accomplished then, you may return to the relationships window edit the join and enforce referential integrity, which is very much recommended. Now you actually create the lookup fields in the table design view. So you can pick this field type from the data types column drop down in the table design view. So let's say we want our sales table to look up customers. So we could choose sales, click design, and let's say we want to look up the customer name instead of the customer ID you can use the drop-down and choose Lookup Wizard. This then launches the Lookup Field Wizard to help you create the Lookup Field. The wizard asks you a series of questions regarding the Lookup Field which you answer in each, each screen while clicking the Next button to continue. So here it wants to know whether you want to look up values in a table or query or type in the values you want by hand. So let's choose to look up values in a table or query and click Next. It then asks which table or query should provide the values for your lookup column. Here, customers should, so we click Next. Then it wants to know what fields contain the values you want included in your lookup column. The fields you select become columns in your drop-down. So we're going to take the customer ID and the company name and click Next. You can sort and this is new for XP in 2003, you can actually sort your drop-down by any of the fields shown. So we could sort by company name, for example, and then click Next. Here it shows you the actual data that you would be shown in the drop-down, and notice that Hide Key column, which it says is recommended, is checked. That hides the actual customer ID, which the field is really going to store. It's just going to display this information when we actually use it in the datasheet view. Then you would click Next. It's going to call it the same thing as the field. Click Finish when you're all done. And in the table design view, the data type of the field will switch to the type of data that it's looking up. So in this case, it's a number, since it's really looking up the customer ID. To then use the lookup field, switch the table to the datasheet view. When you click into the lookup field, you'll then be presented with a drop-down menu of choices from which it looks up in the table or query or list with which it's associated. And that can be much easier than having to remember customer IDs or employee IDs. Also note that if it's a customer ID or an employee ID and you've looked it up and associated it with a text field, you can just type in the information. 
Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com free.